Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here today, courtesy of the lovely people at Lissan Yachts, to have a look at this Lissan Grand Sturdy 500 aft cabin. Now this is definitely in the ship category. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a busy show here at Dusseldorf, so I've had to uh, start on the foredeck, but I just wanted to give you an idea of the scale of this boat. Almost commercial handling gear there, anchor handling gear. Little boarding ladder that flips out over the bow beautiful teak deck now these things are completely solid steel construction so really really chunky again designed for coastal waterways although it will go offshore so that entire mast configuration there as you can see can be folded forwards again both of the windows on either side open and there's a little access ladder there to the uh, coach roof here where you've got all of this these photovoltaic cells so this is very much the kind of boat that you could live aboard. Absolutely vast. I think we're going to start on the stern in a funny kind of way. So mooring winches down there and a really, really decent hydraulic bathing platform. So we'll have a look at that on our way out because that's really quite interesting. So you can board from both sides, either side of the bathing platform. Brings you back into this lovely dining area with this beautiful high-low teak table sorry we are at a boat show it's a bit hectic and then access to both side decks nice high bulwarks and again mooring winch this side Now the clever thing is this is what they call the vario top so I know how well you can see it but this section here which is canvas folds all the way back into this section here so this effectively the helm station which is here can be fully opened so that canvas bit there as you can see slides all the way open into this section here is a little demo of it working so if the weather turns a little bit sunny you can pop the hood open and quite quickly if it starts to rain you can close it back off again and that gives you this really impressive opening area but we're going to nip past this lovely gentleman here and have a quick look down below thank you so I talk about the fact that this is very much a liveaboard boat. It is absolutely vast. It's got a really, really decent beam on it. Proper sort of domestic style dining there. Big hull windows, sorry, big, big windows running right the way through. Very sociable split galley. So you've got a dishwasher over there, sink, and then you've got cooking over this side. Absolutely acres of storage. Access to the engines down here. See down there. More access down there, and this table slides in and out so you can get space depending on what you fancy. And you'll also notice if we stand down here, there's a big cutaway there which allows the light to flood in. You'll also notice no helm station. So that's maximizing all the room up here. And because you've got that convertible helm station, it doesn't matter what the weather's doing. We will take a few steps forwards down past the electrical distribution panel down here a little bit dark bear with me we'll go all the way forward first into the VIP cabin absolutely massive bed lots of storage underneath the floor cupboards on both sides That's three cupboards there and again acres of headroom on one meter seven you've also got heads in here which you can see fairly conventional loo, lovely flooring and what's nice to see again proving this is very much a liverboard style boat central heating big vanity unit lovely mirror and again you can see here jack and jill access outside so that door you can't see it behind there gives you access to this loo from the other side and then you've got two additional cabins one in here pretty standard stuff but again loads of light flooding in and then a step back down here is the shower really nice to have a completely separate shower oh what's in there oh look at that washing machine perfect perfect place to put the washing machine so that takes us back into the saloon and then we will dive down in a moment into the aft cabin 
down these few steps and again massive storage there's storage in there there's a big wardrobe in there there's storage under the floor that takes us past the all-important wine cooler and again second fridge in there into the master slash aft cabin huge very very wide probably square actually double bed in there if I take a step in you can see again acres of headroom I'm one meter seven and lots of glazing hull windows down the side there big hull window in the back which you can see to the bathing platform lots and lots of storage to the sideboard big TV little dresser there or office if you're working from home because you could again live on this boat this is very much a liverboard and then in here we have the owner's ensuite lovely stylish molded corian with the old concealed taps and then separate decent full-size shower really nice now I did I promise you I wanted to show you the underside of the hull because it's quite interesting but we're going to sneak out first and see if we can just sneak out and have a look at the helm station once these people have passed through I might I might probably edit this bit out when I get back home so I do apologize I might have edited that bit out, so there might be a bit of a jump now. I do apologise. I just wanted to quickly show you the helm station before we leave. Yeah, so Dino. Thank you. So, starters has a great big seat. Thank you. You've got throttle controllers there. As you would expect with both of this size and speed, bow and stern thrusters, but lovely separate joystick controls and also a dual controller as well. Switch panel and a couple of MFDs and then there's that roof area, roof foldy back giving that fantastic view forwards. So we will say thank you very much to the people at Lisan for letting us have a look around. Do please like and subscribe. And I'm just going to finish off by showing you the hydraulic bathing platform so bear with me to the end. If you've liked the channel please like and subscribe there's a little button in the bottom corner and I'll add some additional videos at the end of this that you can follow that follow a common theme but here you go that's her out of the water that is the paraphernalia that comes with a hydraulic bathing platform and then down here you can see she's got her two four-cylinder 115 horsepower mercury engines driving through these absolutely vast shafts with props and there's a keel that runs the whole length of the boat so that's what gives you that really really good slow speed stability and put comments below if I'm completely wrong but I think this is where you can put your fin stabiliser so there you go we're now going to leave it thank you very much for listening and we'll see you next time round thanks for watching